Welcome to a special edition of what I did in lab where I have some results from the previous lab. So the previous two labs that I did were creating rooting and regeneration media and then putting samples of lavender and mint plants in them. So now I have the first week of the results from that. Now these aren't the final final results. We still have like another week to just let them do their thing. But this is after the first week, basically just to check to see if the propagation was successful and to see if there's any contamination. First off, this was the rooting media with the mint plant tissue in it. And this one is the negative control, the unsterilized plant tissue, which is why it's so fuzzy. We've got some molds and some unidentified things in there. You can see that two of the three stalks that I put in there are completely dead. They were taken over by the mold. One of them is hanging on, but probably won't last that much longer due to the mold taking over. Now, this one here is one of the experimental samples, so the plant tissue has been fully sterilized. So there should not be any mold or fungal growth or bacterial growth if the sterilization went properly, which you can see there's no growth here other than the plants. So that means the sterilization was successful, so there's no bacteria or fungal spores left anywhere in there, and all nine of the experimental jars were fine like this. They all pretty much looked like this, so that means I didn't contaminate anything. Love that for me. Now, it's also very, very hard to see in the pictures, but a couple of these samples are growing roots. For some reason, they decided to grow it from above the media, so their actually roots are sticking up out of the gel at the bottom. Hopefully, they'll get their direction properly and go down into the gel where they're supposed to be, but there are some of them that are growing roots. As of right now, it's very hard to see just because I haven't been in there for super long, so hopefully next week there will be more noticeable roots, and then everything will be all good. But you can see down here that they're starting to regenerate more leaves because they've been in the media, so they have access to all the nutrients, so they're starting to grow the leaves and grow the roots. Here's another angle of the negative control. You can again see it's covered in the, this white fuzz, and here is a different experimental jar. Again, it's a different sample of plants, but you can see there's no contamination there because there's no weird white fuzz. And then you can also see the leaves and shoot growing a bit better. Next, we have this really juicy petri dish. This, again, was the negative control, so there's kind of supposed to be contamination there. There's quite a few different things going on here. You have that fuzzy-ish green mold. We have more of that really fluffy white mold. We also have that really, really juicy orange spot. So we got a whole lot of things going on in this petri dish. What's funny, though, is that at the very bottom, there's this lavender leaf right here that's fully uncontaminated. You can see all the rest of the leaves have at least something growing on them. That one is just fine. It's chilling. It's living its best life. It's not contaminated at all, which my TA thought was really funny. Again, here's another picture. It's not as good quality because there's a glare on there, but you can really see that bright orange spot. I don't know what any of these things are. Um, most of the fuzzy ones are probably fungal. Um, the juicy one is probably bacteria. I'm not entirely sure, though. Either way, we don't want that. Well, in anything other than the negative control. So here's one of the positive ones. You can see there's nothing growing on it except for those five leaf samples, which we want. They're all nice and green. They're not covered with junk. That means the sterilization was good and I didn't contaminate anything again. You can also see that these leaves are bright green and healthy, which means that all of the tissue that got killed from the bleach solution, we cut off all of the dead tissue so it didn't affect any of the plant growth. So again, this is very early in the process, so you can't really see anything significantly different. However, it is bright green instead of being like brown and dead and crusty, so it shows that the regeneration media at the very least is keeping it alive. Now, this one was interesting because if you look really closely at the plate, you can see a ton of little black specks, but we don't really know if that's contamination or not because there's nothing growing. So last week I did notice these black spots when I was finished plating everything and I was putting the tape around the edges to seal everything off. So I thought that I might have accidentally contaminated one of the plates last week when we were pouring the media, 
But I came back this week and it hasn't grown or changed. It's still just those little black spots. So I don't think that it's any fungal or bacterial contamination. It might be dirt or something like maybe ash from the Bunsen burner that got onto the plate. But either way, it didn't grow anything. So it's not contaminated. I just don't know what's up with this. So that's the week one results of just letting them grow. If anything interesting happens within the next week, I'll probably do another update video. But for now, this is just the results of my last two labs weeks.